Okay, how are you guys doing? I've got something to show you, and it's kind of funny. You guys might have thought about it, maybe not, but I've been doing this to promote. Uh, I've got a radio show. You know, if you go to purerockradio.com, you can see my baby. But this is for Live Good. These are the Live Gooders. If you're a Live Gooder and you're in my group, great. If you have not been in the group yet and you're thinking about kicking the tires, well, welcome aboard. What's happening, man? You can watch my videos. You don't have to be a part of Live Good to kind of hang out and get some things that I do for attention and leads and whatnot. All right. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe. Corey Draper. That's me with the old cool badass hat on. Okay, let me shrink myself. Goodbye. I'm over here in the bottom right in case you're wondering. All right. If you look at this right now, this thing here is Google Maps. It can be your friend. Boy, it'll tell you how fast you're going. It'll show you just about everywhere on this planet, ex except for maybe in the ocean. But it's so cool. I live in Salt Lake, so if you look at the middle there, this is basically Salt Lake. All this green here are the big-ass mountains with more snow on it than you can imagine. And Park City here. and uh, Just, you drive around. You know, wherever you live, you can live in a small town in Iowa or maybe Chicago or who knows where you live. But if you have Google Maps, which is America, and I don't know if Google Maps is up in Canada or France or Italy, but since I live in America, this is my only experience. But this is kind of what I do to get thousands and thousands of people that read what I put. Right here, these are places where I pull in their parking lot or have eaten or have visited. Texas Roadhouse I love. Boy, you give me chicken and ribs and an ice cold iced tea. Oh my God, I'm your best friend. And right there, it says write a review. Okay? So if you just put on your Google Maps and when you're driving around, you don't have to actually go in Texas Roadhouse or in Best Buy or whatever. But if you do pull in their parking lot and if you park for like five to ten seconds, they think that you went there. And that's why it's like, hey, Corey, you went by Texas Roadhouse here in South Jordan. How was it? The food's kick-ass. Service is kick-ass. Atmosphere is kick-ass. And you could always write like, you know what? And I've been here. And this is a real review. What a great place. Love the car shows. Uh, ribs and chicken are the best. And I love this place. I think they're great. It's affordable. They have massive parking lot where we do car shows in, like 150 to 200 cars. And we just tear it up in the summer. And this is a real review. I'm not doing a fake one right now. This is what, what a great place. Love the car shows, chicken and ribs and all that stuff. And then since I own, you know, www dot, you know, and I have a company that's called please uh, watch video dot com. That's my capture page to buying badass products or making money at home, you know. Uh, Google Maps, they love me. They follow me. They want to make me review things. Texas Roadhouse wants me to re review them and obviously not blow smoke up their ass. I really think they are a great restaurant. They do a good job. So Google loves me. They use me a little bit. Texas Roadhouse loves my review. I give them all stars. And they love it. But you know what? I'd like it too if I can just, you know, maybe put my uh, my link down there. You know, and I'm not doing bait and switch. I'm not trying to fake to make or whatever. I'm just, if, if there is the scratch your back, you'll scratch mine and I'll scratch yours over there. I mean, usually it's one to one. Like, hey, I'll scratch your back and you scratch mine. It's like, no, this one we're going to scratch like four or five different places. But let's take care of each other. You use Google Maps. And then, of course, Google owns the damn planet. Texas Roadhouse, cool place. Management's awesome. We do fun car shows there, and I love that. I give them five, five, five. All their stars are kick-ass, and that makes their rating look good. But all I, all I want is just an honest review, which I put, and then I just go ahead and put uh, please uh, watch video. And you can put HTTP, you know, if you want, you know, colon, boom, boom, www. And right there, did you take out? What would you do? Uh, actually, when I was there, I was in the parking lot. So, I, yeah, I did the takeout. And I had a lunch and uh, it was about 10 bucks a pop, even though they gave me a coupon, but their, their average dinner is about 15. So I'll just put that and then boom, see this post. Now I'll do a video of this post in about, let's say a week. 
and I'll be damned if I don't get two to 3,000 people looking at that review. Okay? And it's amazing. Best Buy, I'll do the same thing. See right there, it just says write a review. All it is is just Google Maps. And if you don't mind having it on your phone while you're driving around, you know, I, I don't know what people have to hide, but some people are like, oh, I'm going to not have Google Maps on. I'm like, okay, whatever. If you're a terrorist or a drug dealer, I don't know what the hell, you know, most people go to the gas station, they go home and they do this, but I get it if you don't want Google Maps, but I don't give a rat's butt. I don't really go anywhere where, I mean, I'd be the worst man of mystery. <laughs> so, But anyway, I did go to Best Buy. Uh, I picked me up something there. So see where it says write a review? Just click it. And five star. And yep, I, I'm just going to put like, hey, uh, went there the other day. Uh, had product. Had product in stock. Good price. Which is, I think Best Buy is good. Sometimes they don't have what I need, so obviously I got to order it because Best Buy to Walmart, you know, Radio Shack's gone. I mean, God, the day of walking in a store and buying something is getting scary, isn't it? But anyway, the Best Buy, uh, they had what I needed. Went there the other day, had product in stock, good price. Uh, uh, love this place, which I do because I've been going to this one for about 15 years. Boom. You know, and then, you know, HTTP colon, boom, force, blah, 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 blah. and then please watch video.com. Okay, you see that? Five star. Google loves me because I'm going around and Google's sending me this. Best Buy loves me because I gave them a review that's pretty, pretty damn honest. I mean, I really did enjoy this place. Five star. And in return, I just like a little love too. So what Google does is they blast this out to everybody. And before you know it, I got three to four. Some of my reviews have 5,000 freaking people. And uh, if they go ahead and click that, please watch video. Um, you know, cool. You know, it's kind of a win, win, win. I've been doing this a long time to promote, uh, excuse me, my radio show. And I just hit post and it's all good. And I can do this. You can see all these places that I drive by because obviously if you're driving by a McDonald's and you park for a sec, then you go in and get gas and then you go here and go there. Then you go down to the street to buy, let's say, Cafe Rio here in Salt Lake. It's a really cool Mexican uh, place for Mexican food. And But anyway, you can see I went by a toll booth. I went by Taylorsville Town Center. I went by Interpoint Shopping Mall. Quarry Bend is like a Walmart place. Uh, and, and Draper Apartments. I drove by an apartment complex. And if I really have been to these places or I parked, I can, you know, Draper Village, I know it's a nice place, you know, for apartments. And I'm not going to lie. I don't have to go, oh, man, they're the best. They have great rent. You know, you can just say, hey, I drive by there all the time. It looks like a cool place. Looks nice and clean in a nice location. Because that's, that's, it's true. It really is a place that I think looks nice and it is in a nice location. I give it a nice rating. And I want Google to blast this out to thousands of people. And this apartment place, it's like, hey, thanks, man. Because most people don't give a rat's ass about reviews. Unless they're know-it-alls and they just can't wait to shred the living shit out of a business. You know, there's plenty of those people that love to write a review. And, and good for them, whatever. But to me, if I can get a little bit of love just by clicking, you know, my capture page to live good. You know, thank you. I, I honestly think it's a win-win-win. So, it's... It's something that I do, and if you can try it out, it's free, and just like I said, you don't have to lie and say, oh man, I went here and bought the best this and this, but you can just drive by that restaurant and say, hey, it looks nice, the parking lot is always full, okay? Now, if the parking lot's empty and the place looks like not one person's went and <laughs> it's going bankrupt, <laughs> you don't have to leave a shitty review and go, God, this place, it had all the opportunity, the owners look like... They had potential, but they ran it in the ground. There's no one there, and their prices suck, and I don't even like their roof. <laughs> oh, by the way, watch my video and give them a five-star. You know, kind of rub each other's back a little bit. You know, you can be kind of nice even to a business that might look like they're just barely hanging in there. But there's so many locations when you drive around. And if you live in a tiny town, I get it. You might live in Iowa where population is 46. My Draper name for is from Belmond, Iowa, clear back in the 50s. And I think there's only 300 people in the town where my Draper name came from. But if you do live in a 
place that's rather larger than a hundred people in your city, uh, just drive around. And if you want to have more targeted reviews, if you're selling uh, nutritional products and you pull in front of a GNC, <clears throat> excuse me, or a gym, which I go to, I'm not a bodybuilder, but I like to do about an hour workout to just tighten up this old body of mine. But you can pull up to a gym and if you go there, great. If not, pull them there. Just hang out there for like one minute. Google will let you know. They'll send you a review. And you can just go by, God, you know, I just drove by the gym and, you know, it looks good. The parking lot's always awesome. And uh, I guess maybe I, I should probably start working out because I started eating better. And then, of course, there's a reference to like, you know, protein powder and some badass stuff. So if you feel like you got to relate a little bit to live good products or your opportunity of making money at home, I get it. But don't go by someone and go, God dang, their business. What a ripoff. I heard they have the worst plans and everybody like quits because that business sucks. But my opportunity is great. I'm going to pretend I'm making a shitload of money at home with Live Good. And boy, join my product or my campaign of marching down to the bank and cashing checks and you know, kick it ass. So don't lie. You know, give somebody a little bit of pat. You know, hey, they remodeled the parking lot. The parking lot looks great. And give them a nice star. And then put a little bit of uh, that little uh, WWW at the bottom there. So you guys get my gist. But it's something that I know for a fact has helped me a lot of getting a crap load of listeners with my radio station. And I'm just barely begun on these little trinkets and little tricks and little secrets and little Scooby snacks. All right. So give it a shot. See what the hell. There's plenty of room on Google Maps. Trust me. If you and I live next door to each other and I posted 500 times a day, you could post a thousand a day. <laughs> Google will send you, goddamn boy, they love when you interact. Once you give a good review and write like maybe 26 letters, oh my God, they're like, thank you. Because most people hate reviews. I don't give a rat's ass. But they show you how many people review that review. And you know damn well they're probably in your town. And they're going by looking at that place. And if they go ahead and click your capture page, that's awesome. You know what? No harm, no foul. But at least there's an opportunity for somebody to maybe go ahead and make money at home or put some cool-ass products for wholesale price in their guts. That's how I look at it. Yes. All right. I'm going to go get me a drink. All right. You guys be good. And thanks for watching my videos. You guys take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I said it three times. Goodbye. <laughs>